Hello, this is Lindsay and welcome back to my channel. I have some digitals to share with you today. These are ones that I created and these are in my Etsy shop right now. These are called Woodland Wonders and they're journaling cards. Well, you can print them any size you'd like. I um, am just, the digital download includes, you can download it right from Etsy and it just includes a zipped file with all nine of these journaling cards that I created. I printed them out here four to a page on ivory 110 pound cardstock, and I inked the edges in brown ink. And I'm going to be using these in a nature, nature journal that I'll be making soon, but I wanted to share them with you. And I'm also going to share the process with you briefly, not really a tutorial, I may do that at some point, but I found free images off of Pixabay, and then I used some software on my iPad to digitally paint them. So they look like illustrations and they all look very similar, like they were printed or painted by the same artist because I used the same, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, got not guidelines, but I used the same settings for each of them so that they would look similar. And I, I got the basic idea for this from Hallie Chambers, and then I just developed upon it. So I have uh, kind of vintage nature quotes all on them. Nature is my favorite type of journal to make, and so I'm happy to share these with you. This beautiful butterfly, and it says, nature will bear the closest inspection. She invites us to lay our to lay our eye level with her smallest leaf and take an insect view of its plane. And that's from Throw. So there's that one. And then there's this mushroom and it says, in all things of nature, there is something of the marvelous, Aristotle. And I made like a canvas background for each of them. So if you can see the detail on that, here's this beautiful hummingbird. Every particular in nature, a leaf, a drop, a crystal, a moment of time is related to the whole and partakes of the perfection of the whole. And that's Emerson. And then look at this adorable little fox. My wish is to stay always like this, living quietly in a corner of nature. And that's a Monet quote. And then this beautiful, beautiful owl. The woods are lonely, dark, and deep by Robert Frost. And I, I was inspired to do this one by uh, Jibid and her Black Forest, her Dark Forest journals. And I love this, this uh, Inquisitive Deer. There is Pleasure in the Pathless Woods by Lord Byron. And then this little adorable hedgehog. One Touch of Nature Makes the Whole World Kin. That's Shakespeare. And then we've got this little goofy squirrel climbing up the tree. Come forth into the light of things. Let nature be your teacher. That's Wordsworth. And then these beautiful trees, also inspired by Jibid. It is not so much for its beauty that the forest makes a claim upon men's hearts. For that subtle something, that quality of air, that emanation from old trees that so wonderfully changes and renews a weary spirit. And that's Stevenson. So um, these are definitely things that I'm going to be putting in my nature journals. I made them specifically for myself, of course, to share with you, but ones that I know I would absolutely love using so I hope that you enjoy this download. Um, it is in my shop. You can click the link below. Thank you for watching. And I hope you get inspired to play around with um, taking images like from Pixabay and turning them into arts of, arts of work, <laughs> works of art for our journals.